But my friend, God can take you from the darkest pit, from the lowest valley, and he can pick you up and set you on a rock and give you a purpose. I'm an educated man. I have a master's degree. I was in the military. I had a really good job making a lot of money, and I've given all that up so I could travel the world and tell people about the love of God because it was the love of God that changed me. It wasn't inspirational speaking. It wasn't the motivation of men, but it was the love of God that changed my heart. Do you know Jesus? He loves you. He loves you. He can take your fear. He can take your anxiety. He can take your worry. I know a lot of women that struggle with fear and anxiety. God can take it from you. You never have to live in fear for another moment of your life. Why can you never? Why can you live life without fear and worry? Because if you know that God is in control, there's nothing to worry about. The same God who created the heavens and the earth, if you give Him control of your life, He will lead you through life and guide you on a perfect path. What does it profit a man if he gains the world and yet forfeits his soul? What happens when you die? What are you going to do when you die? Are you going to stand before God? Are you going to say, I have no idea what you're doing? Hello. Hello. God bless you. I'm good. Uh, what's your name? Philip. My name is my family. Hi. Nice to meet you. We also believe in Jesus. Amen. Amen. God's ways are perfect. The Bible says that his ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. I'm not talking about religion, my friends. I don't like religion. I despise religion. But I love Jesus and Jesus loves me and he sent me here today so you can know that he has a plan for your life but you have to go to him. You have to speak to him. You don't have to pray a certain way. It doesn't matter if you've never prayed a day in your life. Go to God and say, Jesus, I don't know you. I don't know how to talk to you but I'm asking you, if you're real, make yourself known to me because there's something in my life that's missing and I need more. He created you with a purpose, ladies. God created you with a purpose. Do you know what your purpose in life, my friend? God loves you. I love you. I'm here today because I love you. Have a good night. I want you to know, my friend, God has a purpose for your life. And He loves you. You don't have to run from Him anymore. It's not about religion. Cry out to God and say, God, I need you. Show yourself to me. I used to walk in my own ways. I used to do my own thing. I used to do a lot of drugs. I used to go to a lot of bars. I used to be in bed with a lot of women. I know what it's like to live in this world. I've been there. But we wake up every morning doing another walk of shame. We wake up every morning getting over another hangover. And we still have emptiness inside of us. So why does it never get better? Because God did not create you to live this life for yourself. He created you to live this life for Him. That if you have a relationship with God, if you speak to Him as a child speaks to a father, He will take you and He will mold you into something that's better than what you see in your life right now. So many of us are broken. You're like a jar of clay. And there's little cracks in the jar. There's little divots in the jar. There's little pieces of brokenness there where we've been hurt and wounded by others. But God wants to take your wounds and heal them and leave nothing but the scars so you can use your scars as a testimony. Ladies, do you know Jesus? Yeah. Do you know him? He's the cook. My favorite Does he know you? You're going to die one day. I know. We will all stand before God and He's going to say, what were you doing? I cried out to you, God. Put that man on the street talking to you. You have wounds in your soul. He wants to change your heart and put more love. He wants to pour love into your heart. It's okay to say you love somebody. It's okay. I love you. I want you to know that God loves you. God is light and in Him there is no darkness. The darkness you see in this world is not from Jesus. It might be from religion. But God is not religion. God wants to have a relationship with you. Sing the Lord. He loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. I don't know what you're saying. Do you know Jesus? Oh. Jesus loves Russia and he loves Russians. But you gotta love him back. God bless you, my friends. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. You could ever imagine. God loves you. I love you. Did you know that? I believe in God. Why not?
I'm sorry that people have hurt you, but God can heal the wounds of your soul, my friends. A lot of people, they don't believe in God because they've been hurt by somebody. If you've been hurt by somebody, we've all been hurt by someone. But if your wounds run deep, I want you to know that God loves you and He sees your pain. He wants to heal you. He loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. I've come from Denmark and I love the way things are done here. Come here. So, are you? I, I, I'm come from Copenhagen. Are you a believer? You believe in yeah, Jesus? I am. I am. Come here. And the way things are here and the way, I mean, it completely portrays a different thing about Christmas. I'm from India basically and yeah. I'm a believer in Jesus and then things are here really means a lot. Amen. God bless yeah. you. Thank you. And what was your name? Have a good Christmas. What was your name? Varun. Varun. Va Varun? From India. Nice to meet you. I'm Philip. Can I pray for you real quick? Oh yeah, you can. Let me just turn this off. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I lift you up and I give you glory. Father, I pray for this Father, man right now that you man. would touch him. Yeah. That you would see him where he's at, that you would heal every wound in his soul, that you would help him to love you each day. You would help him to know that he is never alone. Help him to know that you will never leave him nor forsake him, that the glory of God can shine in his life. Touch him where he's at right now, Lord, and yeah. show him each day that this life is for loving you and serving you, loving you yeah. to give you glory, God. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Father, I pray that you would serve the gift of God within him and help him to serve you with all of his heart to glorify you in all that he does. I love you so much. Bless this so man. Much. Bless, Bless man. my friend in Jesus' name. Amen. God is there everywhere and I believe in it. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, bro. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye. God bless you, my friends. Do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? He loves you. You know he loves you? Do you have a Bible at home? And in the book of John, it talks about the life of Jesus and about what he did for you and that he loves you so much, so much that he came to this earth. He's God. Yeah, he came to this earth and he laid down his life for your sins. Okay? There's a lot that I can tell you tonight, but uh, there are many people I want to preach, uh, preach to. And I just want you to know Jesus loves you. He, lo he died for you. He was raised from the dead on the third day. He's not dead. He's alive. He came back from the dead. And he's in heaven right now. He's coming back again one day. And if you don't know Jesus, he'll say, depart from me, I never knew you. See, we all, when we die, our soul is eternal. Our, so our body goes from the dirt, body comes from the dirt, and it's gonna go back to the dirt. When you die, your soul, it lives forever. It's either gonna be in heaven or hell. And God doesn't send anybody to hell. We send ourselves because we choose not to believe in him. All right, there's only one truth. I just want to encourage you. Read, just go and get a Bible. Don't even, you know, you don't have to tell your parents. Go and get a Bible. It's important though. God, go to God. Let him lead you to himself and then lead your parents to him too. It's like, I know a love from God and I want you to know it too. All right, God bless you. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Philip. My name is Laura. Nice to meet you. But we have to go. Okay, God bless you. Have a good night. All right.